Hello friends, I'm Meghna Thomas and welcome back to our channel Golden Eplets Aviation Pilot Training Academy Your Route to the Cockpit In my video today, I am going to be discussing with you about the runway lighting if you are an avid flyer or you have been in the airplanes, I'm sure it must be very exciting for you to see when the airplane comes close to landing. You might have even observed the runway from your cabin windows. If not, you might have definitely seen the runway when your aircraft is taxiing for takeoff. So, all runways that are licensed for night use must have lighting which at least defines the extent of the runway. This is referenced to as the edge lighting, threshold lighting and the runway end lighting. There are other types of lighting which are also provided. IKO requires that the runway lighting shall not be operated if the runway is not in use for landing, takeoff or taxiing purposes. Also, the ATCs are required to use whatever means are available to them to ensure that they are aware of any lighting system unserviceability so that appropriate notification and action can be taken. Let's talk about the minimum requirements of runway lighting. The first is the runway edge lights. These lights are the ones that you see on the edge of the runway. They are generally white in color but they are subject to certain specific exceptions. The area defined may not necessarily be maximum width of the paved runway surface. The lights may either be elevated or embedded in the surface. If the landing threshold is displaced, but the pre-landing threshold area is available for takeoff, then the edge lights between the beginning of the runway surface and the displaced threshold will be split so as to show the red up to the landing threshold while still showing white after that point. The next are the runway threshold lights. These lights are provided in a line along the landing threshold at the touchdown end of the runway and they define the beginning of the declared landing distances. They are green and can only be seen from the approach. Now let's talk about the runway end lights. These lights are provided in a line along the end of the runway available for use. They are red and can only be seen in the direction of runway use. Basically, they are unidirectional. So these were some of the important runway lightings that are mandatory for the runway which is to be used at night time. There are more lightings at the airports about which we will be discussing in our upcoming videos. So for more such informative videos and updates, stay tuned to our channel Golden Eplets Aviation.